guys welcome back to our channel life review my name is dave and today we will be doing a six month later review of this keyboard here this is the cosmic byte cbgk16 firefly this is a mechanical keyboard there are two models of the firefly one is the 16 which you have here the other one is the cbgk18 what's the difference between these two cbgk18 has red switches cbgk16 has blue switches now red switches are silent they are linear uh, no not linear they are tactical but they are silent whereas the blue switches which we have here these are clicky and tactical now since this is a six month review i will be talking about the performance for the last six months and i will cover the rest of the things also which i um, which i have covered in the full review since there are many returning uh, viewers here so let's begin so this is a tkl keyboard let's begin with the layout this is a tkl keyboard that means 10 keyless so what that means is I have a keyboard here this is the full size keyboard and this is a tkl tkl means the numpad is missing so 10 key less so this 10 key less this 10 keys are missing in this one so we'll be doing more reviews with this let me keep this aside this is the fire um, evo fox uh, katana uh, do check out the review and unboxing of that if you haven't i'll put the link of that somewhere above in the description below so coming back to the cosmic bite one so about the build quality the build quality of this is really really good um this plate here this is a metal plate overlaid is plastic but it's a metal and as a result this is quite heavy and let me show you the keycaps the keycaps are one of the best i have seen till now these are double shot keycaps as you can see and this this keycap is from the katana one but as you can see look at the finishing of this look at the finishing of the katana keycap this is good but this is this is very beautifully done finishing is good the double uh, the both of layers uh, the white layers specifically this is quite well done and let me tell you for those who do not know what a double shot keycap is so a double shot keycap means there is two layers of that that we just saw so it is not just paint the esq that is written here that is not paint it is actually the player of the plastic translucent plastic and what happens is when their light comes from below it actually um very beautifully it passes through that that is one uh, one benefit the other benefit is it never fades this uh, the printed part this might fade away the circle that is so see but this esq will never fade so that is one good thing now uh, the switches here as i said these are the otemo blue switches but one thing i really liked about this particular model is look at these keys look at these switches they have inbuilt stabilizers stabilizers so i did not see this in many other keyboard which is available in india even the cosmic byte ones the ones that are that they're releasing now this doesn't have this inbuilt stabilizer let me show you what actually the other ones look see this is this is both of these are otemo blue but as you can see this does not have the stabilizer and what the difference here is see there are two fins here on the side of this this plus sign if you may say so what this does this gives extra stability to the keycaps when you attach it so it doesn't wobble as you see this wobbles quite much and because of the stabilizer it does not wobble that much so that is one thing i really liked about this uh well, cbgk 16 this uh, this is a really good keyboard and this is almost like people this is almost reached legendary status people who are using it they really love it including me and i have been using this for the past six months no problem at all no drops nothing this has been going on quite smoothly and since it's a mechanical keyboard mechanical keyboards tend to last very really really long and i totally enjoy using this keyboard so as i said um, the build wise everything is perfect let me just show you let me just continue showing the build quality of this so this part is plastic as i said and uh, another good thing is these days the small keyboards uh, few of these keyboards they are not including this height adjustable clips but this has it sadly not dual uh, but this has height adjustable clips and rubber grips here 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 so that it does not slide in your on your desk so another good thing is this is a little bit uh, spill resistant so if you uh, accidentally spill something you see this holes here the liquid will drain out of that so that is another good thing here now coming to the cable of this uh, this is not detachable as some of the newer models are these days but i like this because what happens is as uh, like the cbgk23 artemis what happened was it failed like uh, there was a usb c connection and the problem was due to that this moving around uh, the port failed and there was some uh, problem with that uh, model also it, it failed for many people so uh, just to avoid that 
And I'm okay with this. This is an this is a totally uh, permanently attached cable, so I am totally okay with that, right? I'm not going to. This, anyways, this is not a wireless. Even if they give a separate cable, this is not wireless. You cannot um, run a, run around with that. It helps in portability if you if you want to carry it with your backpack, but I don't do that. So for me, it's totally fine. And the cable is a braided cable, and this is 1.5 meter, so it's quite um, quite long. And let me just show you. Um, not this one. This is my mouse. Yeah. So this is the USB plug, and this is not gold plated, but it's okay. It's, it's really okay. And this has a uh, interference um, remover here, magnetic. So that is also one good thing. Now let me just talk about the RGB effects of this. This has quite good RGB effects. Not as not as much as the uh, the newer ones are. Sadly, I have to talk about the newer models because uh, I have been using this is an old model. It has been in the market for around one one year, and I've been using this for around six months. So uh, I have to talk about the newer models. So uh, compared to the newer models, it is less, but I would say it still holds up pretty well. And there are quite a lot of uh, uh, modes if you want to see. Quite a lot of uh, lot of modes. The light reflects quite well. And you can also uh, customize those. There is a yes, there is a software for this. You can customize your backlight. You can uh, program per key RGB. You can just program W to be something else, Y to be some color, some color else like W A S D, which we use in our games. We can um, change the colors of that so that everything is possible using the software. And you can also record macros with that. Now, uh, let me just show you the different. modes of that and then we will move to the sound test which is really really important as you can see quite nice i really like this now comes the most important part the sound test of this keyboard So I think you got a really good idea about how it sounds. This is very clicky, more clicky than the newer models that Cosmic Byte is uh, releasing these days. So I really prefer this. This is very clicky, very tactical and you will really enjoy typing on this one. Now um, since this is a gaming keyboard, let me talk about a little bit of uh, gaming features. So it has all the bells and whistles, standard bells and whistles um, such as you have Windows uh, key lock. You have all key anti ghosting and all all such things this is a perfectly good gaming keyboard and since this is a mechanical keyboard you will really enjoy gaming on this i usually primarily use this for coding and typing i really enjoy typing on this one i love to type on this one the tactical clicky feel is really awesome and uh, we have 12 multimedia keys on top of that which you can use uh, uh, access using the fn key so all in all i would say this is a really good package I would recommend this uh, over a full size keyboard and over the 60% keyboard. 60% keyboard does not have many keys, you have to use a lot of shortcuts. I recently used the Themis, uh, go see the um, unboxing and review of that, I'll put the link of that also. But I faced a lot of problem there, I faced a lot of um, trouble while coding, while debugging because these all these were not there print skin was not there uh, delete keys uh, arrow keys so i had to use shortcuts for all of the things all of the basic things i really do not like that and uh, and i will recommend this over the full size because anyways we don't use the numpad that much right so this is the perfect package if you ask me what type of keyboard you want to buy i would straight away recommend go for a tkl um, and the price of this has also decreased. I think you can get it, get this model right now for around uh, $19.99 or $2,000. So this is a very good value for money right now. Um, six months after six months, uh, I bought this for around $2,400, I think something like that. But the price has decreased further. So right away uh, in the market, this is a very good value for money keyboard out there. And I would definitely recommend this to all of you guys out there. All right, guys. So that's it for today. Um, uh, do subscribe to the channel if you like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay safe and check out one of our latest videos here. Goodbye.